Tony, nicer to be speaking under these circumstances. A good 3-1 win for the side. We just spoke to Ufik. He said his side was second best. You deserved the win. How did you see it? Oh, look, we, we extended our minutes from last week. You know, we played good for 55-odd minutes. The um, difference was last week when we conceded, we fell apart a bit. Not fell apart, but we, we made the game. Uh, we were vulnerable. We could have won, we could have lost, we could have conceded more, we could have scored. Today, 1-0 down was different. You know, and I think that's um, testament to the players and the, and the character they showed. In difficult circumstances where we are on the table, um, you know, so that's a, that's a credit to the group. What do you think that's down to? Is it just the message getting through? Is the boys standing up to be counted? They've had enough? What do you think it is? Not that they've had enough. They've had enough for a while. <laughs> it's, um, it's, it's their quality, you know, and uh, it's their belief. Um, I watched them train, and I said before the game, I've, I've watched an outstanding week's training. Does that guarantee a result? No. But uh, it guarantees belief for me. And... Um, you know, one nil. They they showed their quality and belief to come back and score three goals, and then showed resilience and desperation at the end, which is what you need. How important can this win be? as sort of like a turning point because it's been pointed out hasn't been a win since early December, before everything kicked off, and there were so many external distractions. We talked about drawing a line under things after the sanctions were handed down, but now you've got a win as well. Does this mm. help with that process? Yeah, wins always help, but it's, it's still only it's still only one game. So we didn't get, I never got too down in this room when we lost and I won't get too high when, now that we've won one game. But there are things to build on and a lot more to improve. But, um, you know, it's a, it's a good step in the right direction. Tony, it feels like a lot of weeks it's been talking about, the, I guess, the chances that went begging. I know there was still some today, mm. but it had moments like Bruno first goal from open play. I think it was Tommy, mm. obviously, scoring his first goal late. Um, I know Jake from a free kick was there as well, but how important is it just to get those little moments going your way and maybe feeling like you can, you can build on something attack-wise? Yeah, it's, um, you know, taking the moments was a difference today. You know, they had one cross, quality goal, quality header, and um, you know, that's the way it's been so far. But you know, we took our moment today. You know, it was a great move, uh, Jakey's ball. Uh, we had three plays in the box, and the ball fell to Bruno. J Joshy could have scored as well. Today we created good moments, very good moments, and the game could have been finished a lot earlier, uh, which makes it more nervous for us. But um, you know, overall, I'm, I'm I'm just happy for the for the for the players, happy for the club, happy for the fans that you know now finally coming back in and they can go home and celebrate uh, a victory. Um, it's been a tough period for everyone, but. You know, no one's lost belief in this uh, football club. Just get your thoughts on that Jake Brimmer free kick. Um, you know, Jake is now again at the point where he was last year, where now you see a free kick and you expect, you know, that maybe it goes in. Um, he's, you know, he's physically and mentally in a, in a very good place. He scored a fantastic goal last week, unfortunately without reward of, of points in the game. Uh, but today's goal contributed, um, you know, to a well-deserved win. Well, last week you said, you know, <clears throat> to break the cycle, no one's going to break the cycle for you. You guys are going to go and break the cycle yourselves. And how proud of you from that perspective that, you know, as you said earlier, you didn't lose belief and you pretty emphatic scoreline in the end tonight. Yeah, you know, no one does these things for you. You have to earn it. And we had to earn it because we were down 1-0 at home again. Um, we had to chase a game again. So, um, you know, you have to earn everything you get. And, um, yeah, we, we earned what we got today and scored three goals. And, um, you know, a lot of young players again played. Young players came on. So they're gaining experience. Um, and, and our senior players were outstanding. And I thought, I thought Broxy was, you know, it's easy to speak after a result um, about the group, but also someone that's been sick all week with the runs, you know, things that, you know, are unpleasant, no training. Uh, and, you know, and you, you see a guy at his age that you can rely on like that um, and played basically to the last minute. So, you know, special mention for him because it was a special performance from a real leader today. And are you hopeful that Kamau will be available um, next time out? Yeah, we hope so. Um, he arrived yesterday, trained immediately, was happy to train. Um, he was very fatigued and very tired. 
from a selfish point of view, we could have thrown him on the bench. Um, but, you know, for his own well-being and thinking about Bruce and what he can deliver for us, uh, it was best to keep him out. And today he looks a lot fresher after a bit of sleep. And we've got a nine-day turnaround, so that will, that will help to get some good training, get him to um, know his teammates a bit better and understand our playing style. And uh, he looks excited and, you know, we're excited to see what he can do. Just on that, obviously, I think Chris's suspension will be up as well. Mm -hmm. So does it feel like you're sort of getting... A it feels like that injury is, you know, just sort of up and down throughout the season. You're sort of getting the cavalry. You have, um, there's a talk, obviously, another signing. But getting Bruce in, getting Chris in to sort of bolster those attacking stocks. Does it feel like maybe things are starting to turn a little bit there? Yeah, we hope so. Um, you know, Ray was out today as well. So we, we hope to, to get him back. But, you know, we, arguably maybe for the first time this year, we played the same team. Um, so we didn't have to change anyone. And you could see that that continuity also helped the group, you know. Played well for 55 minutes last week. Extended those minutes today with the same uh, 11. So they will grow in confidence. And um, you know, we've got players coming in, which always helps. We need we need depth and uh, quality in our squad. Um, you know, and I'm sure that that will grow as we as we continue now. Well, I'll ask the question. Four days till the end of the window. We know you've got one target that you talked about yesterday, Damien. Any progress on him? Is he still a target? Is he not a target? Any others potentially coming in? We've got a few days. We've got till the 7th. So there are a lot of things happening at the moment. Um, a lot of discussions which will probably continue tonight and tomorrow. And you never know how these things land. Um, when you think it's happening, it doesn't. And you know, when you think that one's gone, it, it reappears. So we won't have to wait long. You won't have to wait long either. Um, Tuesday will be clear whether we've got one, two, no players, uh, whatever it will be, will be uh, known very soon. I can stop asking you about it, <laughs> you as well. But just in fact, tonight, injuries, escaped any injuries? Uh, from what I know, um, yeah, you know, knocks and bruises. And after a tough battle you know, against a good team, you expect that. But um, overall, I think uh, we're OK. Thank you. Thank you.